Well, hello, and happy slash back Saturday. And excuse, excuse for all this you may hear in the backward, all this wind. Yes, this is a city, I guess, who's going to be 40 degrees today, but a lot of wind, so I don't think it's going to be 40 degrees. Heck, living in Montana, don't expect that. Oh, and Jennifer Tochi here. And it is Slashback Saturday. And for the Horror Man, I am making a Slashback Saturday video. And our assignment is... 1980s Slashers. One of my favorites. Yes. And I was going to do a different Slashback. Um... Um, movie, but I put it in my top 20 um, th yesterday, so I decided, no, do something else. You have plenty of other 80 slashers. So, here it comes. I bought this movie because of this. Polly Shore. Yes. Believe it or not, I am a fan of the weasel. Yes. Another scene I grew up with on MTV was the weasel. Oh, and I guess I better show you what this movie's called. Yes. Phantom of the Mall. Eric's Revenge. And, 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 and. Yes, it wasn't on my top 20s because it's not part of my top 20s so here goes yes this movie was made in 1989 directed by richard friedman and screenplay by robert king wow a director and screenplay that i can pronounce and I'm happy about that. Okay. Yes. And I am happy to do this review. Okay. There's people in it. There is people in this movie. And there is um Eric. Ooh. Um, played by Derek Rydell. Some of these movies I recognize from horror movies and 80s movies, but I'm not going to go into that except one of them, yes. Melody, played by Carrie Whitman. Buzz, played by Polly Shore. Susie, played by Kimber Sissons. Reporter, Peter Baldwin, played by... Rob Estes, Mayor Karen, played by Morgan Friedman? <laughs> oh, Morgan Fairchild. Sorry, that's a whoops moment. I take that look back for M Morgan Friedman. And I, Morgan Fairchild? Okay. And Justin, played by... Tom Fidley. Okay. Ouch, that hurts. Okay. Play with my pen a different way. Okay. And this movie is about teenagers. And amazingly, amazingly, it's a boy and a girl. And so, of course, what are they going to do when they go to Eric's house? Is make sure his parents are asleep and then come together. Yes. And um, an arsonist comes to the house and burn it down. Yes. And Melody gets away, helped by her boyfriend Eric. But 
that his house burns down and him and his family burn down burn get killed in the house now did he get killed because isn't this called Eric's revenge and the house is burnt down Melody remembers seeing a man throwing gas on her and about to light her up when she's laying on the lawn. And he has a weird earring in. And he, the guy who's about to set her on fire, hears the police coming and runs off, not setting her on fire. But nobody believes her. And a year later, a big mall is made on that exact space. Yes. I see a little something fishy here. So, exactly a year later, uh, Melody... And her friend Susie come to try to get a job at the mall. And, of course, they get their jobs. But Melody keeps getting strange presents. She gets orchids in her locker that her boyfriend used to give her. Hmm. I gotta put this pen down so I'll quit playing with it. Sorry, I've got nervous hands, can I say. And they get jobs there. And she gets a dress that she was looking at in her car. Mm. Yes, and that's a pretty... Um, ah, what am I doing? Okay, yes. And... I like a lot of people in this movie. Well, I like two people in this movie, mainly. I like the gore in this movie. You know, how can you not have... See a guy in an air duct. Um, take an air conditioner guy and put his face into the fan and kill. Kill him and then drag the body away. There's some gore right there. And then another guy, the security guard, who goes to look for the man. Yes, gets killed. Gets thrown down from the air duct onto the owner of the mall. And says, has a paper on him saying, eye for an eye, with his eye popped out. How can that, how can that not be satisfactory gore? Then there's another one. That strangely reminds me of Porky's 1 or 2. I don't remember which one it is. But, amazingly enough, can put a snake up a toilet. And, but he uses a rattlesnake, not a garter snake like Porky's. <laughs> yes, I, yes, I like Porky's 1, 2, 3. I will admit to it. Yes. And the rattlesnake bites the guy who has who has tried to attack Eric's girlfriend as she leaves the mall. Yes. And basically the mall owner and the mayor have put a lot of money into this into this mall and the arsonist who has who burnt down Eric's house they call him back to say we need your help and Melody sees him because the reporter Peter Baldwin who it Melody is getting interested in um, t 
takes his picture. And at, because he is now hired as a security guard. And chases after him. The main person I like besides Buzz, who, you know, has the same personality as he does every other movie, <laughs> which I love, um, Tom Fidley, who is John Travolta's um, nephew in real life. Yes, he is in... Where's my paperwork? Darn it. He's also in Friday the 13th Part 6. Face Off he has a part in. And who is in Summer Camp Nightmare? And I love his character in Summer Camp Nightmare. He plays Ronk the Punk. Yeah, and he basically plays the same personality as Runk the Punk, as the mall's owner's son, and gets away with a lot of stuff in this movie. And so, that's the positives. I, I like the, a lot of the characters in it. I like the gore. And I like Polly Shore. <laughs> yeah, and I do have some negatives. <laughs> Come on, I timed this out. Uh, I tried to time this out anyway, so that music wouldn't go off. But, <laughs> but keep talking. Okay. Yes, and Eric decides to blow up the mall to avenge, avenge his house. And I, he's got a scar from here to here because of that. And I think, hey, you're supposed to burn down. Why is only this place burnt? So that was a negative for me. It's not the most fascinating horror movie in the world slasher movie but there's gore in it and hey I like gore and yeah and Ronk the Punk's in it and the Weasel's in it so yeah that's all I have to say the movie ends up the oh and I got another dislike about uh, the guy who plays the reporter, Peter Baldwin. I do not like his character in this movie. He's just very full of himself. But it also could be that I saw him playing jocks in a lot of the movies where he plays the same character, full of himself. So that could be it, too. But that is all that I have to say about this movie. I will watch it again. Not right now. Maybe in a week. Sorry I missed, I'm in a silly silly mood today. I just got done watching a movie called Trog <laughs> on popcorn movies and it was the silliest thing in the world. So I am Back to my smiles now that I'm out of the negatives of the movie. So I'm going to go watch another silly movie as I clean my front room. So, goodbye.